Hello guys and girls, this is Maya broadcasting out the UK and today is Wednesday, the Wednesday shave and I'm dedicating this one to Big Joe. <laughs> Alright, so what have we today? We have today a sample of Saponico Varicino Dolomiti. That's the soap. And I got from them also a sample aftershave, which is nice. So we'll try that one as well. Okay. And let me just tell you what the scents, the scent descript, oh, my phone. Sorry, I've got this all on my phone, you see. Um, phone's not opening. The scent description is lemon, limes, patchouli, sandalwood, and cedar wood. So those are that's the scent description. We will see. I am using my Merkel Progress, but this is a long-handled one. Okay, uh, not the short-handled one. And in it, on its third use, will be the Gillette Silver Blue, which I am going to load in a second. Brush-wise, I am using the Wilkinson Sword Bore, new style. And I'm... <laughs> how shall I put this? I'm starting to love this little brush after a few... Mm, let's say months of quite a bit of herring and so on it still does but it does lather rather nice despite the hair um, it still does hair a lot so I don't know what that says to the quality the old style doesn't hair but anyway I'm still I'm starting to love this little brush and I'm going to be lathering up in my suribachi bowl um, and depending on how the aftershave is, I might use some carrier oil, the Forever Carrier Oil. Um, this is a new one, so I haven't opened this yet. So we'll see. Okay, let's get going. So first off, I want to show you on the side, and I've used actually a little Sharpie pen to, to mark this. There is a little slot here and a triangle here and these have to line up when you're putting the blade in. On this side there is nothing so it's only on one side okay when you line those up then at the bottom and I'm trying to get this to focus as good as I can there's a little dot there it's now coming and that should be then on the plus once you've closed everything up um, yeah maybe I have to redo it with the sharpie pen again I'm not sure it is difficult to see anyway here we go so let me load this so open it up it's a two-piece so to put the blade in, I'm going to turn this upside down and lower the blade into there. But first of all, I need to... I'm sorry, that's the dog that's next door has arrived. And the dog's barking its head off. So it's wrapped twice, the Gillette Silver Blue, once in paper and once in this wax paper. Okay, if by any case you get, sorry, <coughs> there was a frog in my throat. If you get a blade that looks slightly oily, do not wipe it off. Even if you've used it, do not wipe it off. Just wash it off and hand dry it. Do not wipe the oil off. Okay, it's a special protection oil. So here we go, here's the silver blue. I'm laying this in, and I've been asked before, do you flip blades? No, I don't. 
because I can't be bothered to remember which side is which and I don't think there's an advantage anyway. So let's put this on and let me check. I've got both sides on the slot and the triangle on the right side and now I'm just going to hold this and screw the handle until it's done. So it's now perfectly aligned and got my fingerprints on the top and let me just take my <laughs> towel. So perfectly aligned now as you can see and this again has aligned itself to let me hope I got it on the dot and plus there you go dot and plus and now I'm going to select after having closed it down I'm now going to select the blade gap I am going to go for a three today there you go okay right let's get started let me put the razor to the side next to me in the basin I have unfortunately cold water so I couldn't wait long enough for the water to come through hot which takes forever and the gas boiler so here we go so let's just wet the face pre-wet it a little bit there you go and let's open up the sample can't smell much out of the bag okay. Oops. they said to me it's quite crumbly so I'm going to be careful opening this one up okay this is a high-end soap it is Italian obviously as you can tell by the name details will be at the end of the video as per usual oh, now that was maybe not so good the way I opened this it snapped the little sticky off okay let's have a look yes it is very crumbly as you can see Oh, very nice scent and it is black as you can tell so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a few crumbles in here this high-end soap so you must expect for saponico varicino whichever flavor or scent flavor you don't eat it scent you take um, will be around and I say that depends on where you get it from um, will be around and also at this moment of time when this video was taken will be 26 pound 27 pound okay I don't know most probably they're not as expensive in Italy but however you need to be in Italy to get it from there <laughs> to if you want it any cheaper so um, let me just stick this back the sticky okay I made a little bit of a mess here as I'm sticking this sample back together. I don't want to lose the scent because it's actually quite mild. So these are the dry crumbles I have in here. I am now going to just press them into the bowl. As I said, it's triple milled, so this is high-end soap. Will last you for a long time though. So as I haven't used this before, I don't know how long it will last you, but I'm guessing because it's triple milled, I'm guessing you're going to get a year out of it at least. It's just a wild guess. So I'm looking for my syringe. Hello, syringe. There it is. Okay, let's draw up a teaspoon, the usual, as per usual. Keep it always the same so I'm now getting rid of 
the one hair brush hair I have in here. Easier said than done. Okay, there we go. Right, so I'm just going to add. Oh, I haven't soaked my brush, have I? I've been talking, talking, and not soaked my brush. That was a bit foolish. So here we go. This is my cartridge eraser from the other day, and this is still my Wilkinsons. I have this in here as a backup. Let me just put some quick water in here to soak my brush. I've been talking and talking and I forgot all about it. <sighs> so, not, <laughs> not stressed at all today, as you can tell. Most probably I'm talking fast too. I've had an extra coffee which I normally don't have either so this is, might be quite a bit of a video don't know where this is going to go anything can happen dot com right have I got everything together let me now get my head straight hair is tucked up so I don't shave half my hair off like I normally do God, it was cold this morning. Did you have frost as well? The dogs enjoyed it thoroughly. They were rolling in the frost and running around as if all their Christmases had come out today. Anyway, okay, I think we are just going to go for this now. It's not so long. What's this? Under a minute. Oh, I don't know. As it's such a... Uh, let's leave it for a little longer. You know what guys, I'm going to pause you, which is not normally my style. I normally do it all in one, but I'm going to pause you. Wait five minutes and I'll be back with you. Right, it's been four minutes. I'm just going to wet the face again. And... and get on with it okay right glasses back on squeeze the brush out okay it's squeezed I'm going to add a tiny bit to this very dry soap to bloom. I'm going to add one mil, so I've got four mils left in here. I'm just swirling it around. Let's start loading the soap and change of camera set in. Okay, let me just get this started. Yes, and it will lather white, it won't lather black. The black is actually from minerals that are in there, natural minerals. That's what makes it black. It smells divine. It smells really, really good. You can, you can tell this is a special scent combo. You can somehow tell it's Italian. I don't know, the Italians have their way of mixing scents, which is quite different to other countries. You can just tell. I can also tell normally by the smell of like German soaps that it's German or English. Not American ones because I haven't had that many, but you get, I don't know, it's the scent combos and the soap combos. Okay, I think this is pretty well loaded. Okay, as you see, there's still, there's lots in here. It's a triple milled hard soap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two mils in there. So I've got three quarters of a teaspoon. And this might take a little longer. Maybe I should have bloomed it more. But we're just going to carry on. I hope you can see this. This is a bit woodsy, not so much patchouli. I can smell the lemons. 
I can't smell the limes that much. Um, I think I'm getting more sandalwood than uh, more sandal than cedar. It's very classy. It's a mild scent. But let's see how it starts on the skin. Often things change once you put it on the skin. So this is now one teaspoon. Add the rest of that in. I maybe should have thought about this and bloomed it before. For quicker results, this is now just going to take longer. But as you can tell, look at this already, wonderful. And this is just the pre lather. I think the soap or uh, Varicina has been around since 1845. So quite a long time. I'm adding into my syringe another teaspoon, which is five mils. Adding one more mil. Oh yeah, I'm not even trying hard and this is coming up super duper. Can you see that? I'm not even trying hard and most probably I'm not going to use up all that soap in the bottom. I'll be using whatever is left in the bottom there tomorrow or the day after. Again, how, how do I always do this? Okay, this is now not a pre-lather anymore, but it's still sticky and it hasn't got the sheen yet. So I'm adding some more water. I'm adding another. So that's in total uh, one and a half teaspoons I've got in there. Okay, now we're starting to get a sheen. So as you see, this is taking longer than normal. I am actually going to add the whole teaspoon in. So that's two teaspoons now. Because it feels quite sticky, still has a very sticky sound. Look at this. Look at this. Well, that will do any man proud with a proper long beard. <laughs> That's just wonderful. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there. Let's just test, do the finger test. It has protection, it has glide. I could add some more water, but I don't want to, not in this case. Um, otherwise I'll be stood here for another 15 minutes. Let's adjust the camera, let's get going. Right, glasses off. Let's see if I get this lath onto my glasses as well. It looks like it might be one of those days where it'll go everywhere. Okay, off we go. Let's have a... S <sighs> Wonderful. A really classy and unmistakably Italian scent. I don't know, does that look as if it's dissipating a little bit? I am not sure. But if it is, that means I could have worked it just a lot harder, which most probably would be a lot better for this soap. Um, triple milled soaps respond better if you work them longer. Right, let's go. Let's take my those out okay I like the Gillette silver blues and in the Mercure you definitely get an unmistakable blade feel Don't know if you can hear the feedback, I certainly can. The soap is performing ace. Right, let's do the next round pass Maya pass remember it's called pass okay lovely 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 soap now there are different theories on how to use adjustables glasses I think the soap needs working a lot harder and uh, for a bit longer or blooming first and then doing it well I made that mistake I didn't bloom it because I didn't think about it right I'm turning this now down to a onto a one okay because it's already quite close and I really just want, I'd rather do a double touch up. Um, adjustables, yes. So, there's a theory. You can start off with a low setting and work your way up, or the other way around. Now, I find if you've got a growth of two days plus, then my personal experience 
and I'm not talking necessarily only the beard but you know, you know like leg shaves and so on as well then start I find it's better for me to start on the three and work my way down it is dissipating a bit once again this is down to my skills this needs to have more water the soap and needs to be worked a lot harder but it smells fantastic so there you go okay here we go Slickness is there anyway. And the scent responds very well with the skin it's mild but it's there it's not in your face strong so I think people with sensitive skins should have no problem with this scent at all I'm already BBS here and I've still got loads of soap left so I think I'll shut this off for today I'll just show you wait I need to hold this properly so there's loads still left as you can tell and in the bottom so I'll just wash out my brush today and I'll leave the rest in there and I shall use it tomorrow because it's too lovely to get rid of right let's wash the face off once more just to make sure there's nothing left No, there is nothing left. So there is no humongous residual either, which is a good thing, especially for sensitive skins. Let's dry the face. Okay, let's have a go at this. Here we go. Let's see how the scent is. Why do they make these things so hard to get open? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> this is a workout. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> okay, right, here we go. I don't know what's going to come out. Oh, it's clear and it's very, th oh, it's liquid. Very liquid. Mmm. Oh, I like this scent. This is lovely. I thought it was going to be a cream, but it's actually an aftershave liquid. Mmm. Oh, yes. Feels lovely. This, no weepers, no stinging, just smells divine. So, I only used a little bit. I've got about this much still left, left in, as you can tell. So I'm just going to close this off and use this tomorrow. Yay! Let's make sure that none of it gets lost. Mm, now, I'm looking if I've got a clip or something. Oh, I know what I'll do. Uh, 
I'll just use that blue tack there. There we go, that'll keep it till tomorrow anyway. So, let's just quickly review the scent. The scent is fabulous. Very luxurious. And now, the, now that the scent is developed from the aftershave, a tiny bit powdery, but not in a bad way, not old fashioned sort of way. This is lovely. Oh yes, thumbs up. So that was my review of the soap. Let's just check once more the razor. So once again, I'm just wiping the side so that you can see. Once again, I'm now to open, open it up to get the blade out. I'm going to, and I'm looking because I can't see this light is so bad. I'm going down, where is the dot? Going down to the plus. So going down to the plus to turn it down and then I'm opening it up. Okay, you still have here the triangle and the slot. Taking these two bits apart, putting it down carefully so that I don't damage the razor or my sink, my hand wash basin. There you go. I will wash these separately as the blade, dry them off separately, and then it will go back. So when you, just to show once more, when you get your two parts and you've dried them and washed them and everything, Look for the slot. There, can you see it? It's tiny. That is why I sharpied mine in in black. And then on this side, you have the triangle. Can you see that? Okay, and then you put the two back together. Not skew, obviously. Okay, and then you just turn your bottom. That's how you do it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was informative and I will see you soon. Bye bye.